Hello snowy owls, have you had a good day? I have had a very busy day today. So for today's story, I'm inside in the warm, keeping dry. I've just got the two owls, Snowy and Barney, to keep me company because they're no trouble, unlike some of the other animals in this house. And I've got a story for you about the weather because it's been another wet day, not nice at all. It's called The Weather Witch and it's by Rachel Warren Chad. It was springtime and Amelia's first day as a trainee weather witch. All the children were fed up with the horrible weather. They had been stuck inside all winter and wanted to go for rides on their bikes and Amelia was itching to cast some sunny spells. She took out her new broomstick, called her cat and soared into the wet and gloomy sky. She found the older weather wizards and witches sitting on grey clouds under their great umbrellas, poring over their computers and weather maps. They were not at all happy. One of the witches called Hocus Pocus was cursing a mischievous wizard called El Nino. Bet it's him, up to his tricks again. After all my work, there isn't even a glimmer of sunshine. Next time I see him, I'm going to ram his hat right down over his ears. At least we've only had rain, said the chief weather wizard. We haven't had any hurricanes or snow. What's this then? shouted Amelia rather rudely. The witches looked up from under their umbrellas. Sure enough, it had started snowing. It snowed more and more and then turned into freezing hail and then into slushy rain. The chief wizard was about to say, oh dear, for the third time when there was a huge clap of thunder and it started raining even harder. Amelia looked down and saw that all the children were very sad. Even though she was only a trainee weather witch, she was determined to do something to stop the rain. She looked at her new screen and right in the corner, which meant it was really thousands of miles away, there was the tiniest hint of sunshine. Amelia got out her weather specs to double check and then she had an idea. Oh, I've got some weather specs. Let me put my weather specs on and see if I can see anything on my screen. Oh yes, right down the corner. I can see you. Hello. Take my weather specs off so maybe I won't be able to see the book. My normal specs back on. She sent messages all over the world to every friendly witch and wizard she could think of and that night the sky was full of distant figures flying to the top of all the highest mountains. There the witches stood whooshing the little patch of sunny weather towards Amelia for all they were worth. At the same time Amelia cast an enormous and very difficult spell. It took her ages and by the time she went to bed she was totally exhausted. The next morning, Amelia was woken by the birds singing. She drew back her curtains and saw a watery sun struggle into the sky. Slowly but surely, the sun grew stronger. Windows opened, coats came off, and people began to smile. Amelia had a great big grin on her face as she sped off to report for duty on a cloud that was thinning rapidly in the bright blue sky. Good work, Amelia, whispered the weather wizard, who was the only one who seemed to know what she'd been up to. You'll be a first class weather witch one day, but don't ever think that the weather can be tamed. Who can say if it was fate, your spell, or your friends that made the sun come out today? We'll never know, but I do hope that the sun comes out tomorrow. Have a lovely day, Snowy Owls, and I'll see you again tomorrow for our last story of the week. Bye-bye.